Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In my last Windows 11 video, we showed you how to install Windows 11 on an unsupported PC doing a fresh install, meaning you had to wipe your hard drive and you lost all of your personal files and your applications. In this video, we're gonna show you how to do an upgrade for Windows 11 on an unsupported PC that will allow you to keep all of those personal files as well as your applications that you already have installed. So with that, let's get into it. The PC that we're gonna be using in today's video is this Dell Latitude E7440 laptop that you see behind me. It's currently running a fourth generation Core i5 processor and 16 gigs of RAM, and it is not supported to be upgraded to Windows 11. Switching over to the PC, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is check and make sure that your computer has all of the latest updates for Windows 10. So we will go ahead and check that really quick just to show you guys that we are running the latest version of Windows 10 available for this computer and that we do not have any updates available at this time. And as you can see, we have no updates. And if you take a look over on the right, it says this PC doesn't currently meet the minimum system requirements to run Windows 11 but we will go ahead and show you the PC Health Check app uh, anyway because that's what uh, Microsoft is telling people to utilize to verify whether or not their computer can run Windows 11. So we'll pull that up here real quick. And we'll go ahead and click check now. And as you can see, it's failed all three checks um, so we'll go ahead and close this out and so the first thing you're going to want to do is head over to github and I'll put the link down in the description below for this website but you can see it here in the address bar and when you get to this website you're going to want to click on the bypass 11 folder that you see right here and then we're going to click on the skip TPM check on dynamic update.cmd. So you'll want to select that file. And then on this screen over on the right hand side, we're going to go ahead and click on the copy raw contents button. So we'll select that. And that's just copying all this code that you see in front of you. And then you need to open up the application notepad and we're gonna do a control V or you can right click and do paste. And we're gonna paste all the contents that we just copied from that website in here. And then we're gonna do a file save as. And this is important because we need to change the file type. So down here at the bottom where it says save as type and it says text documents, we're gonna change that to all files. And then for the file name, you can name it whatever you want. Um, just to make sure that you put dot cmd at the end so for the purposes of this video I'm gonna type win 11 bypass dot cmd and then I'm gonna select save and I'm putting this on my desktop but again you can save this uh, anywhere you would like and once we have that saved we'll make sure that it's there and there we go so the next thing that we need to do is we need to go to the Microsoft website and we need to download a copy of Windows 11. And I'll put this link right here down in the description below as well. And so you can do this a couple of different ways. You can download the Windows 11 media creation tool and just save the file as an ISO instead of using a USB drive. But to just cut uh, an extra step out, we're gonna go right to the download Windows 11 disk image link. So this basically just walks you through what language and you just confirm a couple of things and then it will start downloading the ISO directly. And once we have that downloaded, uh, we'll be right back. 
Once your Windows 11 ISO is done downloading, we can go back to the desktop where I saved the bypass file, all the code that we copy and pasted into the notepad file, and we can go ahead and double click that. And you want to click yes if you get this prompt. And it'll completely run all on its own. So you just let it sit here for six or so seconds and it will install the patch and then it will auto close. And then from here we can double click on the ISO that we downloaded and select open. And then we're looking for the file that says setup. So we can go ahead and double click that and then select yes and this should uh, open the Windows 11 installer. And so I'm gonna go ahead and close that window out. And from here, it should be just like installing any other version of Windows. So you should be able to just walk right through it and it will upgrade um, you from Windows 10 to Windows 11. But we'll go ahead and walk through this anyway. So at the top, it does say install Windows Server. Don't be alarmed there, this is for Windows 11. Um, so we can go ahead and click Next. It's going to see if there are any updates available. Now it's going to verify whether or not our PC can run Windows 11. And as you can see, we made it past that check. And then here we'll click accept. And then this is where you decide what you want to do. So for this video, we want to keep files, settings, and apps so that we don't lose anything. And select next. And it's going to re-verify for updates. And then it should tell us the version of Windows 11 which it wants to install based on the version of Windows 10 that we have installed. And that is because you need an active Windows 10 CD key. If you don't, then this won't work or you're going to need to purchase one. And as you can see, it wants to install Windows 11 Professional, and we're keeping all of our files, settings, and applications, and it is ready to do the install. So if you agree with all of these settings that we're gonna do here, or changes, then all you have to do is click the Install button in the lower right-hand corner, and we're off. And again, just disregard the fact that it says installing Windows Server, because it is installing Windows 11 Professional. This is gonna take a little bit, so we'll be back after it's done installing. And we're back, and as you can see, we're running Windows 11. One of the first things I recommend that you do is go down to the Microsoft Store and update all of the applications that come pre-loaded with Windows 11. There is a known issue with the Windows Terminal where you can't open the settings for Windows Terminal, and by grabbing the updates in here, it actually reinstalls the application and it resolves all of those issues. So that's the first thing I recommend. And as you can see here, we have like 36 updates just right out the gate. I won't make you watch all of these, but um, this, the next thing that I recommend you do is actually go in and do a Windows update for the system itself. And so, and you're gonna have a lot of updates for that as well. They're not all going to download and install properly right out the box, so you're going to get some that may say download error or have issues, and you're just going to have to um, download and install what it will do, and then restart your computer, and then go back and recheck your updates, and then download more, reinstall, uh, restart your computer, and so on and so forth. But eventually, you will be able to get them all downloaded and installed, and everything should be working fine. So if you see download error, or you see any issues here in the Windows Update section, don't be alarmed. Uh, they will install. You just kind of have to do them in chunks, if that makes sense. And that about does it for this one, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe below, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.